Hi guys, my name's Adrienne. I'm a vocal coach in Denver, Colorado, and this is a warm-up for pop and rock singers with big voices. So this is for those of you who like to sing big. If you tend to get tight on your high notes, then you might want to check out a different warm-up, which is for the warm-up for people who love to belt, but your voice gets tight. If it's not out at the time that you see this video, it'll be out within a week or so. But if you just want to get to it and get to those big high exercises right off the bat, um, this is a good exercise. We're not going to start heavy, but we're going to get there pretty quickly. Before we start, if you would like this warm-up routine in your vocal range, bass, baritone, tenor, alto, mezzo, or soprano, that is available in my membership site for vocalists called Nail Every Note. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is maybe a little counterintuitive. We're going to start quietly because when you're going to sing big, you want to make sure that your voice, voice is warmed up first. You want to make sure that you've got an efficient connection of your vocal cords meeting each other. And we're going to do that starting quietly and cleanly. Okay. Trust me on this. So the first thing we're going to do is your pick either z or v. Z or v. Okay. Just sliding on an octave. Goes like this. Or it's up to you. It doesn't matter which one of these you do. What I'm trying to make sure is that your breath support is engaged because that's another critical element that's <laughs> part of singing loud stuff. So here we go. It's your turn. Z or v, your choice. in your belly to press against this resisting, uh, artic the resisting articulators of your tongue, lips, and teeth. The next thing we're going to do is another breath connection exercise. I just want to make sure that you're set up right before we get loud. Um, we're going to do chipmunk cheeks, also on octave slides. So this sounds like this, and it looks, well, if you're listening to the uh, audio recording of this, you can't see what it looks like, but I look like a chipmunk with my cheeks full of nuts, and it sounds like this. So the idea here is to let the air pass easily through your throat with no control. We're not trying to control the pitch with our throat like, nope. We want to let that air collect in the cheeks and then resist it with the lips enough that you have pressure. So if you want to try it just without the uh, scale first, just give it a try like, you should feel your belly engage and your cheeks should puff out. Here we go with an octave slide using chipmunk cheeks. I look silly. singing with breath support. All right, the next thing we're going to do is some buzzing. We're going to try to get you uh, resonating in your face. That is another critical part of singing high, loud, big stuff. You don't want to swallow it into your throat because that's just tension and it doesn't resonate. It doesn't carry very well. It's not easy to hear. And overall, it's not good for your vocal health. So this is going to be another your choice exercise. Me, nay, me, or may. Ni, ne, mi, or may. Goes like this. Ni. So it's super nasty. We're looking for that buzzy sound. So again, ni, ne, mi, or may. Whatever you find is easiest to be buzzy on. So no work in your throat. Okay, here we go. Ni. So whatever, 
syllable you're using. Look for that buzzy, nasty sound. We're not looking for a big and open vowel right now. like your voice is kind of in your face more than in your mouth. So don't open your mouth very far yet. We'll get there. One more. Good. All right. Next we're going to do mini mini mo. Actually, it's mini 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 mo o oh, o. Oh. Like this. Mini 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 mo. So now we can start opening up to an actual more pleasant sounding vowel on that o. Mini 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 mo. But again, we don't want this to be a throat dominated or a mouth dominated sound. We're not going for mini 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 mo. Nope for that buzzy kind of bright nasty sound for now it's going to serve you later here we go mini 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 mo 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 so especially on the o the mo make sure you stay buzzing in your face i can barely talk and play at the same same time Mini, 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 mo. Doesn't, we're not looking for pretty right now. Just making sure that you're buzzing in your face. Mini, 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 mo. 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 Good. Next, we're gonna start getting in some more power, into some, some power here. All right, this is just gonna be a simple octave arpeggio of the syllable yum, with some repeats on top, like this. Yum, 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 yum. Now, as we do this, we don't wanna go from yum to yam. We're not cooking yams here. So uh, make sure that your the shape of your mouth stays more vertical than horizontal, because horizontal sounds like this. Vertical sounds like this. Yum, 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 yum. If you need to, put the corners of, uh, sorry, put your fingers on the corners of your lips so that you are you force yourself to pucker a little bit instead of go, like instead of smile. Okay, here we go. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. One more. Yum, 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 yum. All right, same thing, except using the syllable mum instead of yum. And this time we're gonna sustain that note a little bit on the top, like this. Mum, 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 mum. Mum, mum. Here we go. Oh, as a reminder, you don't want to go from mum to mam, so make sure it stays mum the whole time. Here we go. Mum, 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 Very good. All right, the next thing we're going to do is take the syllable ya and do a little more fun pattern on this one. So it goes like this. Ya, 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 ya. And now make sure as we go up to the uh, second note, ya, ya, that you do keep that feeling, feeling of buzz in your face. Ya, ya, ya. And you don't go, ya, yelling or raising your throat or, raise, or raising your chin or anything like that. Stay level. Ya, ya. And let your voice thin out to get up to that high note. It'll get much harder once we get up here compared to when 
where we start. So again, this goes like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 All right. This next one, we're going to take the syllable yeah, because we sing that in songs a lot, right? It goes like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now we have a full voice now. We've got this, uh, you know, we now we have a little more sound in the mouth and the throat, but we also have the buzz still happening in the face and we have breath support. So it's all coming together. Once again, it goes like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as we get up to the top notes, we want to make sure that we still kind of turn over the voice and thin it out. So we get like, yeah, 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 yeah. And we're not going to reach up like, yeah, yeah. We never want to sing from the throat like that. Doesn't sound good. Here we go. I'm going to just show you one more time because it's a new pattern. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, your turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 feel about that one transpose transpose okay um we have two more exercises here this is going to be way away and it goes like this way away 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 i want to hold it for a little bit on the top way away 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 here we go your turn way away 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 way away One more exercise left, guys. If there are a lot of jump cuts in this video, it's because I screwed up so much while recording this video. It's one of those days. So uh, here we go. This one's gonna sound like this. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, your turn. Here we go. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. I hope you had fun with that. Again, if, you're, if your voice got tight on that, you have a couple of options. You could check my warm-up that is for people who love to belt, but whose voice gets tight. It focuses a little bit more on loosening you up before we start and really finding you know, the stuff that we went a little faster through uh, at the beginning of this one. Or you could take some voice lessons, obviously. You know, any good uh, commercial contemporary, contemporary commercial singer or teacher. Oh my gosh, it's one of those days. Anyway, any good uh, popular music 
coach is going to know how to help you release some of that tension. Um, or you could join my membership site for vocalists called Nail Every Note, and I have lots of lessons on how to mix your voice and find power up high without strain, because I love doing it. So anyway, check that out below if you feel so inclined, and I'll see you guys next week.